All right, guys, let's take a look at what I am running for this trip. As you can see, I've thrown down my Posh Palatka, right? Of course, I'm wearing my Chinese PLA Type 19 jacket, right? I've got some work gloves. I have backup pants after the disaster that happened last time. A little bit of reading material. I have, of course, my fishing pole, backup socks, backup underwear, spare power bank for filming, this, a Russian 24-hour ration, more camera stuff, courtesy of my wife, uh, my Christmas present, it was a lot more filming gear, of course, a sleeping pad, my Soviet Airborne Troopers mess kit with canteen, paracord, bear bag, emergency blanket, this is going to be my ground pad, spare fishing tackle, and my modular sleep system, the intermediate level. Water filter, and bag, a rag for wiping stuff off. A headlamp, I always keep the headlamp in the top pouch where it's easily accessible. And a trash bag. Oh, and of course, some spare food and coffee, uh, hygiene stuff, and of course my emergency fire navigation kit, fire steel, all that stuff that I might need to use in an emergency. I also have basic bow saw and a wood cutting blade, some bait, And of course, bear, bear deterrent. All right, so I'm gonna head into the woods right over there. And we're gonna try to find a couple of appropriate size sticks to form a little shelter. And we're gonna actually get our shelter up for tonight. So I want a four foot branch and a six foot, or two, sorry, two six foots and like a 10 foot. All right, we're gonna be trying, trying to do this shelter inspired by uh, by Jess from Endurance Room. So let's see, let's see how we can get this. All right. All right, I'm gonna take this. All right, guys, so here's the basics of it. As you can see, boom, we've got our little A-frame. And we've got, actually used paracord to tie off the four corners. All right, let's take a look at what is in our big fucking lunchbox. I think I open it on this end, right? We've got some pull tabs. Okay, and oh, it reseals. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm already impressed. It's its own trash bag. I love it. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this, this bad boy. Who, buddy? All right, so I'm kind of feeling like a snack. I'm thinking maybe crackers and this i think this is the cheese pate right crackers and cheese that sounds like a like a winning combination right and yeah i'm kind of stoked about this irp because the bag is its own trash bag it's resealable right so that way i can seal it up leave it and and i won't have to worry too much about critters getting in here not that not that there's a ton of wildlife running around anyway but yeah look at that look at that delicious uh cheese facsimile and you know, my wife like has some, some pr a pretty strong dislike for these Russian IRPs with their with their weird cheese substitutes. But um, I'm like, whatever. Plus, I appreciate that you can just dip the crackers into the cheese. Sort of. You got to be a little strategic, I think. 
Um, it's not terrible. Mm. I spoke too soon. Okay, and let's use let's use one of the provided spoons to get our cheese onto our cracker. Ah. Okay, this is not neat. Like I gotta say, I'm like not loving this cheese and cracker combo. It's just a mess. You know? It's just a mess. And it's hard to like enjoy eating something that's so messy. All right, so it's kind of started drizzling a little, um, but like already I'm not loving the shelter setup. Uh, you can see like I'm, I'm in it, I'm already just under the cover and I'm already like running, pushing against the palatka. Um, also, uh, it rain's picking up. Um, also like this tripod, that's kind of holding holding up the front end is is not really not really working for me. Um, it's sort of unstable. Um, this isn't like terrible, right? I'm I'm undercover, um, but yeah, there's some like room for improvement here. And I think maybe if this rain stops, I'll um, think about transitioning to a new location. Um, I think this one with its already muddy ground is not going to fare well if this rain keeps up. Alright, well we've got the the hood up. It's still kind of kind of snowing, kind of raining. But yeah, we're going to get somewhere quite a bit uh, uh, more wooded, easier to set up this Pashpalatka shelter. And generally just a bit, bit more likely to stay dry. It's all about staying dry. Uh. Oh, okay, so here's a better spot. Relatively few trees overhead, relatively flat. I think this will be a much better setup. It sort of stopped, stopped uh, snowing, but snowing slash raining. Oh, but I did manage to step my feet in some water in that river so I could feel the water in my socks. So I'm going to get set up. Hopefully we're going to try to get a shelter up, our fire going, and uh, yeah, yeah, get ourselves set as, uh, as it's going to start getting dark here in maybe another two hours. Something like that. Okay. And as you can see, the freezing rain is back because it never ends. All right, guys, my field expedient shelter is up. All right, well, since I'm stuck here, let's try our, thankfully, zipped tight uh, in the waterproof plastic bag, uh, Russian MRE. Let's see, I definitely want the apple bar. I think that's this here. Okay, this is, uh, this is literally like a compressed fruit bar. Hmm. Oh, okay. That was like a whole apple seed. At least we know it's real. Or a rock. Maybe it was a rock. Okay. At rock notwithstanding, this is pretty good. It's exactly what it says. It is like an apple fig bar. It's got a little bit of a tang. It might have some vitamin C like added after the fact. Alright, let's try one of these meals. 
Oh man, where's the esket stove? Dude, what? Okay. Whew. Whew. Oh, I almost freaked out. Okay, here we go. Give myself a little pick me up, a little black tea. Alright, with some of this gigantic packet of sugar. I mean, at least we know where those calories are coming from. Oh yeah. And we'll do a cracker packet. Is this lunch? Is this dinner? Nah, I don't know. Now, those of you guys that are religious watchers of my channel remember the last time I had an IRP uh, with my buddy Eric. Uh, none of these Esfet stoves, uh, stove fuel tabs lit. All right, let's see. Fingers crossed. Whoa. Barely even struck it. Okay, this, this match is not fucking around. Literally, I just touched that to the striker. Oh, come on. Come on, light on fire. Okay, I think, I think it's going. I think it's going. Right, just so it doesn't... Yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. It's going. So that's okay. Yeah, that sort of works. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's... It's, uh... Oh, man. It's... It's like spam. This is like... Straight spam. Okay, this is a... Smoking... Hot... Smoking hot uh, spam dish. Oh, interesting. It's like spam and chicken. Look, look, you can see the little shredded chicken pieces in it. Huh. I mean, this isn't like great, but it's all right. Kind of works. Kind of works in its like weird way, you know? All right, guys, here's the tea. Ah. Oh. That is sugary. And who doesn't love sugary? It's like so sweet. It's like the, it's like uh, Afghan style chai. Just like super sweetened. Alright, let's uh ooh, let's get one of these entrees going. I am hungry. I, I don't know what this one is. I think this may be the buckwheat. Alright, we got our friend the Espit stove. Uh-oh. Where's... Where's that tiny striker? Uh-oh. I can rest assured that MRE matches to the rescue. Just blew it out. That's fine. MRE matches continuing to the rescue. This, this is some sort of, there's some sort of Cold War symbolism here that US MRE matches are going to relight the, S, the Russian Espit stove, right? But I, I, I'm not sure what that symbolism is exactly. All right, that might've done it. Uh, the super thick, granular, doesn't want to dissolve like sugar drink. Yeah, you can see it's, it's, it doesn't want to dissolve at all. I mean, maybe it's supposed to be like warm or something. All right, let's see if this will let me heat up my drink. Oh, look at, look at that. Uh, that is that is buckwheat stew at its finest. I'm seeing uh, bits of rice, uh, some 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 onion, some barley. I mean, I'm kidding. This this doesn't look appealing at all. But let's try it. Oh yeah, it's got that processed meat texture. Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's like partially heated up. Mmm. Yeah. Some parts are freezing, and some parts are so warm. Oh man, this is so disgusting and terrible. It tastes like processed meat. 
uh, half the bites are warm and half, or half the bites are cold and half are like steaming, like burn your mouth hot. It's so unevenly heated. Oh, and it just, the texture is like, is like t t textureless processed meat. Just, oh, it's awful. It's awful. I got to heat that up some more, man. This is, this is bad. I did bring one, one item to use in case of a true emergency, and that is a plastic airplane bottle of Irish whiskey. And I just finished my disgusting peach sugar drink, and uh, you know, it stopped raining, and that's good. It's gonna drop by another seven to 10 degrees, get down to about 28 Fahrenheit, or I think that's uh, negative one Celsius. And so, yeah, I think, I think a little bit of this Patty's Irish Whiskey in a plastic bottle will help me. Patty's Irish Whiskey sounds like a name that someone just made up for Irish Whiskey. <laughs> they were just like, what would you call Irish Whiskey? And so they picked like a, like a, a quasi, uh, like offensive, like parody name. Like, oh, Patty, ha 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 ha. Let's call that our Irish Whiskey. I was like, Dubai Airlines was like, what's an Irishman called? And they're like, Patty. I'm something of a connoisseur of whiskeys. You can see it's infused with sugary peach drink, which should just enhance the uh, off-brand whiskey flavor. And let's try this Patty's Irish Whiskey, which, to be clear, did not come in the ration. Friends gifted me, like, a bunch of travel whiskey, a travel alcohol. Oh, that is, that is just revolting. Um... That is like, imagine if Johnny Walker, they have like green label, blue label, right? The regular one is like red label. Imagine if they had unlabeled or like an industrial solvent grade Johnny Walker. That's what that would be. But you know, it's the best, uh, it's the best whiskey out here because I'm in the woods. <laughs> okay, if any Russian forces in like Syria watch this video, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry your rations are so bad. Um, I really hope, like we did in Afghanistan, you can buy food off the locals. Because that naan is delicious, right? I mean, Afghan naan was great. I've heard Iraqi food is great. So I imagine Syrian food's got to be good. And your ruble's got to go a long way there. I'm just saying. All right, it's uh, about 5.30 a.m. Um, you know, I, I slept pretty good last night. Well, actually, that's that's kind of a lie. Now, I, I was warm inside the MSS um, until it dropped up below about 30. And then it really, I had some cold spots towards the feet and anywhere I was, like, pressing against the sleeping bag. Um, so, yeah, that, that, I would say, is definitely a, a note. Um, and I was wearing sweatpants and socks and a, and a t-shirt and I had this jacket in there actually stuffed down by the feet to give me more insulation because my feet get cold all the time. Um, so yeah, so I think these, these temperature ratings that says that this black sleeping bag is good down to zero, um, may be like a survival rating. Um, you know, it, the comfort rating, I would say, it, yeah, this puts it right around, right around, I'd say, 30 degrees is where it becomes, like, uncomfortable to sleep in. Um, all right, well, we're going to get this camp packed up, and we're going to start working our way back. All right, look at this. Shoe is uh, frozen solid. 